Well, I did a video on Cutefish OS, the desktop environment, and it was in a VM. It was a very pleasant experience. You know, there was all this, they, they had so much stuff missing. But now that I'm on my laptop, which is what technically this desktop environment was made for, Cutefish OS is incredible. It feels right, it looks right, and I love everything about it. I mean, look, there's not really any animations, but at least it's pretty smooth. Discord go up, Discord go down, Discord up, good Discord go down. Uh, desktop icons are there. We're deleting those, by the way, because I hate desktop icons. But then we have icons for what's currently open up here. Uh, we have our network, and we have our music, which is really cool. Uh, Apple Music Electron. Uh, it's just, everything's just functioning. It's so cool. Dark mode on, dark mode off. No, sorry, dark mode off, dark mode on. Uh, settings. There's everything that's around me. Uh, Ethernet, you got the Bluetooth, which is functioning, by the way. I just, wait, is it functioning? Eh, yeah, that crashes. That's still a work in progress. Ignore that. We turn it back on. It's already back on. Good. This is proxy. Display. 120 hertz is working fine. Uh, you're able to change the rotation, and you're able to actually scale up. But you need to log out and log back in to make it happen, which they need to fix. The minimize emanation can be default or magic lamp. I chose magic lamp. You can also dim your wallpaper for dark mode, which is kind of nice. Change your font. What does this even mean? Eh. I don't see a difference. <laughs> uh, your backgrounds, the default ones are all still there. And then you have color. We're not going to change that. The dock, of course. So, you know, you can actually have a, a panel now instead of just a dock. I'm going to choose dock because I'm a fan of the dock. We're going to go with a medium dock, of course. And yeah, I mean, user notifications are cool. Watch this. Look at all that. Unfortunately, it literally says everything sound mouse is pretty interesting so you can do left hand or natural scrolling pointer speed you can actually choose a lot of these huh uh, i'm gonna go with breeze on this one touchpad so you can enable it disable it tap to click you know pointer acceleration uh your date and time is pretty easy which is 24 set your time zone your default application so I don't think any of this works right now, but that's fine. Battery icon, nice, right? Normal, excellent, poor, percentage, turn that off, turn that on. Your power, so we can set that to performance. And the about page. Now we are using our NVIDIA GPU. Doesn't show it, but we are. And honestly, this has been one of the smoothest experiences that I've had. Now. You're going to have one question on your mind. What's the usage like? Well, let's take a look. We are currently recording, so it's on 47% because recording does take a fair bit of memory, and we do have an Electron app open, so if we quit that, uh, memory should drop down quite a bit. Do we have anything else open that I can close? What are you? Discord. Let's quit Discord. Yeah. And I bet if we had OBS and other things exited at the moment, as you can see. Whoa, that's cool. Yes, force quit that. Um, Optus Manager is open. It doesn't need to be. Close that. I don't know what you are. Close that. We're going to try to get down to the stock minimum uh, RAM amount, which seems to be 2.7 gigs, which, to be honest, isn't that bad at all. It's actually pretty nice. It's a lot lighter than Gnomis for sure. And you have your processor amount so you can see which threads are doing what. And I think I accidentally just killed something. So let's go try to fix that. This is not the one that I want. We want the one called File Manager, I think. 
Yes. Go to pictures. Set as wallpaper. I think I broke something. Always break something. Can we fix it? Now, um, this is based on Arch. Well, I have Arch installed. It's Endeavor OS. Uh, if we open this up and we do a Neo fetch. So Neo fetch. There you go. We are on the 5.15.7 kernel. Now, what works? Well, pretty much everything here that you see works. I do have Pamac installed. I have DaVinci's Resolve installed, which works. And a uh, screenshot, that's a no map. I'm using Steam. Steam does function. Qubit Torrent, Apple Music, Electron App, Discord. You know, most of it just functions. I just don't understand what I broke. Um, besides that, this is a real, really, really cool desktop environment. I know it looks like Mac OS, and that's going to put people off. It's not about what it looks like, it's about how it functions. It is a beautiful, functional desktop environment that's getting better and better every day. And 0 0.7, I hope, will be a major update. I hope they add uh, multi-display functionality. I hope they add a little icon right here. By the way, check this out. Your hot corners are actually really cool. We're going to open up a few apps. Look at this. That's so cool. I really do like this desktop environment. You guys should give it a chance. Uh, I recommend a single monitor only. And with that, thank you all for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, to share this video. If you guys want to help me get more RAM into this laptop, I'm going for 32 gigs. You'll find links in the description below on how to help. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Broke my desktop background.